everyone, it's Justine and welcome to tutorial using the May Stamp of the Month from So Suzy Stamps. So Suzy Stamps Stamp of the Month Club is really cool. You sign up and it's not a kit club, it's a stamp club. So each month you get sent a stamp that has to do with a coastal theme. Now it could be beach or nautical and it comes with a range of images and sentiments. What's really cool is you can try out the program for three months and see if you like it or you can sign up for the whole year. I'll have links to those both below as well as on my blog. So this is the May stamp of the month. It's this really sort of really cool masculine stamp. I know everyone's always looking for masculine stamps to create masculine looking cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking a card panel that measures five and a half by four and a quarter and I'm going to cut a circle in the middle. Now I ended up in the end using one circle bigger and I had to cut my panel again with this circle that was one circle bigger. So if you are creating this card and you're, you have the W plus nine circle dies, just use one circle bigger than this. You want the circle to be the same size as the border along the stamp of the month. So I'm just going to cut this using my die cutter and I'm gonna cut the stamp circle in the middle. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove that circle die and I'm going to add two wave dies. And I'm going to cut those so it creates a border. It's also going to cut my panel actually in half. Once my card panel is cut, I'm gonna to go to my card base and I'm gonna trace where that's going to be. So I just removed the middle pieces. I'm gonna grab the bottom and just kind of trace where that circle's going to be. And at the top trace as well where that circle's going to be. That's where I know where I'm gonna stamp my stamp when I'm finished doing my distressing. Now I'm gonna go onto my card base and I'm going to be using Distress Inks first. I'm gonna stamp second, just to avoid any sort of smudging. I'm gonna be using three colors of ink, Broken China, Peacock Feathers, and Mermaid Lagoon, and I'm going to blend this into my cardstock. Now this white panel is going to cover completely um, my project, so I'm going to just worry about the areas that you're going to see, which is why I'm kind of starting on the bottom and working my way upwards. Um, to create a nice blend. You'll see that where I'm starting each time is going to get really dark and quite ugly, but you'll be able to cover that up with your card. So don't worry about it. You can also try going in from the sides if that helps. What's really important is to create, have a light hand, put very little pressure on your brush, and use a circular motion when you're going into the cardstock, and that'll create a nice blended look without any sort of streaks or lines. Next, I'm just going to attach these two pieces onto my cardstock, but first I have to do my stamping. So first I'm gonna stamp my sentiment. I'm gonna stamp happiness is, which isn't a stamp for the stamp of the month, but rather something that comes that you can purchase to go alongside it. Um, I love the happiness is stamp because you can write your own sentiment on the inside of the card, or there are several sentiments from So Suzy that will coordinate with it. Once your sentiment is stamped, you want to stamp the actual um, ship stamp onto the card. Now unfortunately my pencil marks from before seem to have gone away and so I just had to go in and make them again. And then I'm just going to stamp this using Memento VersaFine ink. It's a very fine stamp, it has a lot of details in it and it's really quite beautiful once you stamp it out. Now I realized I had to stamp the water so that was on a straight line um, because this, the sailboat is meant to look like it's kind of off kilt. So that's the way it had to stamp. Now this is the point where I realized that my two panels, the circle that I cut, was actually not big enough. So I ended up taking off this 3D foam tape and recutting another circle in it, um, just because I didn't actually like the way that it looked uh, with those lines. The lines didn't line up with the circle on the actual card. Now this was just me being super picky. You could leave it just the way it is and it would look just fine. Um, probably most people that would receive the card wouldn't really notice, but the fact that the lines and the circle didn't line up with my stamp kind of bothered me. So I just went in and I grabbed the two panels again and I die cut them once again um, so that they would fit the actual circle and then I attached them. So you'll see that it looks a little bit different and it definitely fits the circle and coordinates with the top and bottom panel. But again, just my own personal preference and something I learned after I had stamped the stamp. If I would have stamped the stamp first, I would have seen that right away and wouldn't have to take off these panels. The last thing I needed to do was just simply fold my card base and folding the card base was really quite easy. I thought it might be a little bit difficult having that 3D foam tape on there and might have wanted to fold it beforehand, but it actually worked out just fine. So that's the end of today's card tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and you'll take a look at the stamp of the month and consider signing up with us. We have a really fun group of people that um, do it and post their projects and post inspiration all the time on our Facebook group. 
and it's really a lot of fun. All the supplies used are linked to below in the video description or on my blog. Here you're able to access my blog by clicking at the top. Over on the right there's a subscribe button to subscribe to my channel or you can click on the photo there to see my latest video tutorial that I created a couple days ago. Thanks for watching everyone!